Well, we just heard uh, the Sri Ram Sene chief, Pramod Motalik over there. Um, that interview, in fact, was brought to you by my colleague Ritu, who's now joining us live from the Eidga Medan in Hubli. Ritu, while there is no stay on the Karnataka, by the Karnataka High Court when it comes to the Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations right there in the Eidga Medan in Hubli, as opposed to what uh, really was decided for Bengaluru. However, law and order situation is something that is paramount. Why this insistence of bringing Savarkar back into the discourse when it is about celebrating Ganesh Utsa. Yes, so you see after the Karnataka High Court gave a green signal for the celebration of Ganesha Chaturthi here in the Hubli, the celebration is taking place and in fact people are turning out in a huge number. You can see in the visuals how people are visiting the uh, location and they are all here uh, to offer their prayers. So many Hindu organization leaders have uh, visited the place, many politicians are visiting. Just now the farmer CM Jagdesh Shatter too visited the place. He too said that the verdict is in favor and thus the celebration is taking place here which is a good and a happy news for the people because that's what the people in the Hubli wanted they did fight for it for a long time almost five years of a fight that they wanted this Ganesha idol to be installed here at the Idga Maidan and finally that is happening people are happy about it and people are also turning up uh, in a huge number to offer their prayers here but of course when we talk about the security there's a huge security that has been deployed almost around 400 police personnel are being deployed to ensure that the no untowards incidents uh, take place so that's uh, this, that's something that we're getting to see at the mm. spot. But meanwhile, there have been a lot of rules and regulations that this particular organization who have got the permission into uh, uh, erect the Ganesha idol here will have to follow all those uh, conditions and ensure that it is in place, that nothing of uh, that has been violated. That's the kind of condition that they will have to uh, mm. follow for that matter, that this purse that we are uh, reporting from is almost a 30 inch to 30 limited space that has been provided from the revenue department as well as from the commissioner and there are also other uh, conditions to what exactly they have to do how the processions have to be carried and how it has to be installed as well mm. because previously they had a plan of uh, bringing the uh, uh, Ganesha idol here at this location in a very grand procession but which was been all suddenly cancelled and in a very normal manner the Ganesha idol is been placed here now but of course there's a huge uh, security being deployed to ensure the law and order situation is in place. Ritu, let's, let's talk about the believers. Of course, people are there to celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi. Now, how much of an impact will these posters, the Savarkar posters or Bal Gangadhar Tilak images that have been put up or, uh, you know, which, which is being decided to be put up by Sri Ram Sene will have an impact on the people? What do people really have to say about it? See, first thing that we have to talk about is that it's a kind of an ideology war that we have got to see between the two organizations in the Karnataka that we talk about uh, people's uh, belief or that for that matter politically. It's the BJP and the Congress party who has this faith in the uh, pictures that we see how BJP party is saying that the Savakar is something that uh, someone who has to be respected equally as the other freedom fighters are being respected. Meanwhile, you also see that's how the organizations are taking it up. The Hindu organizations, in fact, have also given a call for that campaign that they will be installing Savakas port, uh, pictures at almost all the pandals where the Ganesha idols are being installed to ensure that he is given that respect. He has also been celebrated equally as others are being celebrated. With all this, we have also seen how politicians have poured in the kind of an support here, uh, whether it's about the uh, farmer CM Yajurapa, okay. how we saw him flagging off uh, uh, the Savakar Yatra in the Mysuru, and then later point, we have also seen how kind of an reactions that have uh, poured in in this particular uh, ideological clash that we're getting to see in the Karnataka Absolutely. ahead of the elections. But you see the opposition party is calling the Savakar as in the atheist and someone who has not Absolutely. contributed Ritu, enough in for fact, the country. In fact, you were just talking about those select. reactions. Let's actually play those out for our viewers and see the kind of reactions that have come in. But before that, let me cut across to Mr. Mohan Krishna of the BJP who's also now joining me on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Krishna, thank you so much for being part of this discussion and a very happy Ganesh Chaturthi to you. The fact that the celebrations of the Eidga Medan in Hubli have been allowed. Why this insistence of getting Savarkar there as well? Uh, thank you very much and wish you the same. Happy Ganesh Chaturthi to you all, to the whole team of TNN18. And it is a very auspicious day. We are not, uh, we are not uh, pressurizing for anything. Hmm. Look, for uh, this kind of uh, uh, Ganesh Chaturthi, we Savarkar and 
Bal Gangadhar Tilak, these two are the main instrumental to show the nationalism. So for that matter, Savarkar photo has been used. There is nothing to read between the lines. No, but I, I'd still go ahead and ask why, sir. It is uh, Ganesh Utsav. Why Savarkar? That's what I'm saying. That Mr. Sa Sa Peer Savarkar, as well as Bal Ganga Dartilas, hmm. they were the main instrumental in Ganesh Puja Swa throughout the country pre-independence also. Hmm. For that matter, we are remembering them, that's all. It is not just Savarkar, it is Bal Ganga Dartilas also. Hmm. I'd let uh, Mr. Nasser Hussain yeah. of the Congress Party to respond to you. Uh, Mr. Hussain, you just heard Mr. Mohan Krishna of the BJP. The fact that Sri Ram Sene Chief Pramod Mutalik also has spoken to our colleagues on ground and he said that it was the Congress not wanting these celebrations to happen, hence we are getting Savarkar back uh, into this entire discourse. How do you respond to that, sir? See, I think uh, these are all nonsensical statements. These are statements... Uh, uh, which are very uh, political in nature. These are statements uh, which are there only to uh, discredit and uh, belittle uh, the contributions of a political uh, party to this country. Mm -hmm. uh, why would any political party uh, be against the celebration of any festival of any religion? Mm -hmm. I don't think uh, I don't think anybody would do that. But mm -hmm. only there are of there are some fringe elements in our country mm -hmm. who have started waking up. Issues relating to religion, issues relating to festivals, issues relating to court, mm. and politicizing them. Mm. I don't think any senior statesman, any senior politician in the country mm. would resort to these kind of cheap tactics. Mm. Because there are uh, there is a constitution, there is law and order, there are certain rules, there are uh, uh, land records, uh, there are operations, uh, there are courts in this country which deals mm. with these matters. Political parties don't get into this. These things are dealt by the courts and the land, the courts, departments, and so on. Hmm. So, as as regards religion, hmm. I think Congress is very, very clear that every religion, whether it is big, small, whatever number they have, they have the right to uh, organize their festivals, they have the right to celebrate their festival, they have the right to follow their uh, religions, they have the right to celebrate their gods, uh, and so on. Okay. In fact, lots of congressmen do take that uh, they take part in lot, lots of religious activities we say that respect all religions let all religions be respected let everyone participate in in their religious in their own religion uh, religious activities and also in other religious activities okay. also right. we don't say that religion is completely away from the state and away from the country all right mr hussain and mr krishna thank you so much uh, for joining us on the broadcast let's also quickly uh, look at some of the other reactions that have poured in on this big story that we are tracking on cnn news 18 इतने सारे एप्लीकेशंस में से आपको परमिशन मिला आपके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को बहुत खुशी हो रहा है हमारा ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड देखा है महानगर पालिका के अधिकारियों ने उन्होंने कंडीशन लगाया है 30 बाय 30 पंडाल डालने के लिए हमने वो कंप्लाई किया है ये प्रोसेसिंग के बारे में कुछ नहीं बोला है वो हमने प्रोसेस नहीं निकला है गणपति को हम विसर्जन के समय पे हम बहुत बड़ा प्रोसेसिंग करेंगे होम हवन होगा सांस्कृतिक कार्यक्रम होगा छोटा मोटा ऐसा तो होगा शाम को छह बजे महामंगलारती है हम सब जनप्रतिनिधि को महामंगलारती को बुलाएंगे और सब सकल समाज के प्रमुख व्यक्ति को हम बुलाएंगे शाम को छह बजे सिचुएशन इन हुबली इज टोटली पीसफुल एंड वी हैव मेड अलोबरेट बंदोबस्त रिगार्डिंग गणेशा फेस्टिवल पीपल दे आर इंस्टॉलिंग इन पब्लिक प्लेस एज वेल एज एट देर हाउस रेस्पेक्टिव हाउसेज ऑल्सो In that connection, uh, we have made by elaborate bandhavas. For that, we have deployed one RAF company also. Along with that, 10 KSRP platoons, 10 CR platoons. And uh, we have requested 400 officers and staff from other units and 400 home guards also. Apart from that, uh, entire city uh, officers and staff, they are also deployed for this bandhavas.